LEGO just revealed images of the 2021 LEGO Harry Potter summer sets and they look awesome. <laughs> Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Zachary Gutherman, and like I mentioned, LEGO just revealed a few days ago the official images for the 2021 LEGO Harry Potter summer sets. We did get leaks of these on Amazon a day before, but in this video I just wanted to talk about these sets because I absolutely love them. I think without a doubt this is the best wave of LEGO Harry Potter stuff that has come out in recent times, and I just want to talk about it. Now just as a bit of a disclaimer, I have not seen any other YouTubers thoughts videos or videos on these sets so these are purely my own opinions uninfluenced by anyone else on the lego youtube platform so let's begin this thing i'm gonna start by looking at the main one which is the chamber of secrets this set looks awesome the castles i mean they're awesome it just i don't know if it's nostalgia for me but something about this whole wave just feels perfect it just feels like what lego harry potter should be we get sand green back on the roof of the castles. We get the castle raised up. I mean, it just it just looks so, so good. Even the basilisk, it looks so similar to the one they did years ago when they made the original Chamber of Secrets, but it looks awesome. I mean, it's just, the castles look so good. And I love that they're all modular and we're gonna talk about each one, but like you can make a super castle by combining all the small castles. And that that's just perfect, you know? It's better than what they've been doing where it's just, oh, connect this set with this set now we're getting a bunch of smaller castles but you can build it into a big one and that's great for so so many reasons but i mean i just love the way this first set looks the chamber of secrets the interior especially it looks so so good i love that we get the door um minifigure selection looks cool we get a new nearly headless nick in here which is supposed to be i believe more transparent he looks awesome we get the pixies in there for lockhart i mean they they knocked it out of the park with this first set and now the other castle sets, I'm just gonna go with the Sorcerer's Stone ones. Uh, the first one we're looking at here is the one with Fluffy. So that's the one, it's a smaller one. I don't know the prices of any of these, but I think this one looks awesome as well. Again, the dog, it just really feels classic Lego to me. You know, it just, obviously it's gonna be a new mold most likely, but it looks so, so good. I love the way that they're doing these little castles though. Cause it's kind of just, they put less emphasis on making the individual castle look nice and more on the interior. You know, if we go inside, we get, you know, the trap door, we get the devil's snare. I mean, oh my God, it looks so good. And then also we get this one over here, which is the bathroom. I think this is personally my favorite one of the sets for the little castles. It just, they killed it with this one. I mean, I can see this being like a small 15, $20 set and it's just perfect. It's literally perfect. We get the three minifigs and they're in slithering clothes, which is just awesome. I really, really hope they get alternate faces for Crab and Goyle, that'd be really cool. But just, it looks so good, you know, this is the way to do it for LEGO Harry Potter. Cause you get to create one scene, one very memorable scene in an affordable set. And the set still looks like a castle, you know? If a kid only has $20 to spend, they can still get a Hogwarts set. You know, it's not like you have to put out a ton of money for it. So it's just perfect the way they did this. It looks so good. The um, cat headpiece for Hermione, it's spot on accurate. It looks so, so good. I, I just, I love it so much. And then the last castle segment, which I think also, this is probably gonna be one of the better ones, I think, is the Quidditch one. So it's like the flying lessons with Professor Hooch. Madame Hooch looks so freaking good here. I mean, the way they did the hair, they just, they really upped up the way they did this minifig and it looks, a hundred times better than the minifigs we've gotten for her. We get, you know, Neville and Malfoy in there. I do wish it came with Harry. I think having Harry in this set is kind of important, mainly because, like I mentioned earlier, if a kid only has a small budget and it's only getting one set, I feel like you want Harry here. Harry is pretty critical to this scene too, so it's like, oh, I mean, I feel like he could have been included, but it looks so good. You know, we get the plaques, like the um, Nexo Knights shield parts for each house, which is nice. You get trophies on the inside. It's just, oh my God, they're so good. And what about the non-castle sets? I'm gonna start with Hogsmeade because this one is really kind of out of the blue to me. I wasn't expecting to get a Hogsmeade, but I love it. Now, the first thing I'm gonna say about Hogsmeade that really stood out to me is Professor McGonagall. Finally, 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 Lego gave us an actual McGonagall that doesn't just have a wizard's hat, which is great. I mean, it's just that little stuff, the little things that are all adding into these sets here that really make it great, you know? The buildings themselves look awesome too. What are the buildings we get? 
Um, we got Honey Dukes, and then we have this one on the side. I'm not sure what it's supposed to represent. I'm sure someone will be able to tell me in the comments, but they look so good. You know, we get snow on the buildings. We get really nice interior details. These almost feel like miniature Diagon Alley shops. You know, if they were to take the Diagon Alley set and sell miniature shops for it, that's what this feels like. And it's so, so good. And this is just smart on Legos part two as well, because a lot of people bought Diagon Alley who don't like Harry Potter. You know, you want more buildings coming out of Lego. So this is just perfect. I mean, we get a handful of new minifigs. We also get an older version of Dean. So good. Now it's time to talk about, honestly, one of the sets that I'm the most excited for. And that is the buildable minifigs of Harry and Hermione. Uh, this is just, it's awesome. I, I don't know how else to describe it. It just looks awesome. The When they go put out the um, promo pic of the set, not like the official set image, but like the picture of like the person with the minifigs. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. These look so much fun. I mean, I just, I, I really want them. You know, I'm someone, yes, I love collecting Lego stuff for my city to put on displays, but I also like just regular Lego knickknacks that I could just have around. You know, these are just perfect for that. It's something I could display on my desk or even like on the shelvings back there or something. You know, just, it's so perfect the way they did these. They look so good. And I think Harry and Hermione are just the two perfect minifigs to do it. I feel like people are gonna complain that there's no Ron. I don't really care though, because I feel like the new, new, like 2018, Harry and Hermione's, they're just so classic. They're so like, or not classic, that's not the right word. They're so memorable. They just look so memorable and it's just awesome that we get these guys. This is definitely a set I'm really gonna like. I feel like their size, they're also gonna be decently small just based off like how it looks. Obviously not minifigure size, but I feel like they're gonna be maybe smaller than I'm expecting them to be on the box, but they look awesome. And then the last two sets we have the chess set which wow they really did good with the chess set um it's it's honestly the best thing lego could have done for this set um because you get an actual chess board you can actually play chess with this and i know that's a thing that a lot of people really like is just collecting different chess sets i know the harry potter chess set is also super like well loved, like just like the regular Harry Potter, but now we're getting a Lego one and it's just so good. I mean, it looks really nice. I think the builds of the um, actual pieces look really good. I like how they have the um, pawns made. I think that looks really cool. And then we also get the minifigs for Harry, Ron and Hermione. So it's kind of, it kind of doubles. It hits both audiences here. If you're a kid who really wants to play that scene where Harry, Ron and Hermione have to win the chess game, you can. But if you're an adult who wants to play chess with Lego Harry Potter, you can do that too. So I think that's just really well done. And then the final set, which honestly is the one I'm looking forward to the least, is Buildable Fox. And when I say looking forward to the least, I still really like it. I think it looks amazing. It's pretty much the same style as Buildable Hedwig. And like the Buildable Minifix, it's something that looks really cool that you can display and the action feature just adds a level to it. You know, it's something that doesn't go in a Lego city. It's kind of targeting the older fan base, I think. And yeah, I just really like that. I think it looks really good. We do also get a new Dumbledore minifig with the set, which I think is cool. But yeah, those are the sets. They look so, so good. Now, two more things we gotta talk about in this video. First is gonna be the golden minifigs that come with the sets, because that's kind of something that was really controversial or very negatively looked at in the Lego space. I think it's okay, um, because they don't really matter at all. You know, it's just an extra minifigure for your set. You know, the Big Castle set, the Chamber of Secrets one, comes with gold and Voldemort. I think that's actually the perfect minifig to put there, you know, because it is technically Voldemort in there. So I think that's smart. You know, it's just good that we're getting these golden minifigs. It's just a bonus, you know? And actually speaking of minifigs, I also love the way the Tom Riddle in this set looks. I kind of didn't mention that earlier, but he looks amazing. But yeah, just minifigs, you know, they're just extra minifigs for the golden characters. It's just a fun little throw in. And then the other thing these sets have that I love is they have the tiles. It's kind of like video tiles for wizard cards. So like the cards that would come in a chocolate frog and they're gonna be collectible. I believe you're gonna get random ones with each set. I don't know if it's like each set comes with the same ones, but it's just you don't know or if it's completely random. But I think that's really, really awesome too. You know, it's just so, so cool. They really, really did great with this wave. I can't stress that enough. Lego did an amazing job on this wave of sets. And that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. Those are my thoughts on the images of the new Lego Harry Potter 2021 summer sets. 
Like I've been saying all video, I think these things look amazing. They're so, so good. The sand green roofs are super nostalgic for me. The big builds for the animals and the creatures look awesome. And just the way you can combine all the sets modularly, it's just so good. I mean, Lego really did an amazing job with these. And yeah, like I said, I really couldn't be happier with what it looks like we're getting. Uh, so these sets are supposed to come out June 1st. So coming up fairly soon. I hope it's the same in the US, I'm not really sure. But fingers crossed, because these sets, they're awesome and I just really can't wait to get my hands on them. I'm gonna have to be buying all of them day one because of how well the castles integrate. Lots of fun videos for that. Of course, it's going in the Harry Potter area. I mean, man, Lego did awesome with these sets. Really, really amazing job. Anyways, like I said though, that is gonna be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of these sets by leaving a comment. I would love to hear, you know, your thoughts on the sets, which ones you like, which ones you don't. Personally, I really, really like all of them, but that's really it for this one though. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you all again in my next video.